Alright, so you see right here, look, I'm getting ready for the day, and all of a sudden you see me behind me, wake up, wake up, and look, I'm looking confused, I think I saw something. See Roman. I still feel confused at this moment, I'm done understanding these feelings for the sick to my stomach. In the middle, there's me. It's, it looks like a clock around me, so it, it represents time. So with spiritual awakening, spiritual warfare stuff I went through, it's all about patience and timing. Um, pretty much follow God's timing, follow God's plan for myself. Thoughts that no one knew about my flaws, getting angry, punch your walls. I remember people forgot about me, no cause. I can't explain what I saw, I wonder why I always had my headphones on. I'm just going through a lot of emotions in the song. I'm explaining why I always wear my headphones on all the time, why I keep to myself. I see a clock again. You see me sitting down in, inside the clock. It's ticking away. So pretty much, like I said, represents time. It also represents that everything takes time in life. Really transform into something that I always knew I was going to be, but I knew it was going to be a long time coming. I knew from the start it was going to be a long time coming. I knew it was going to be going to take a time. I knew it was going to take a lot of patience, a lot of hard work. Please wake me up from these nightmares I was having every night I knew God was with me when I followed the light When I followed the light Spiritual warfare was no joke I'm talking about fake work Washing my sins away like soap All you gotta do is just listen That's all I wrote The door's opening by itself So I could go in that doorway Or right here at the end There's another door opening Where you see light So this kind of represents I can go in that other door where it's gonna be a lot of darkness, a lot of confusing distractions, stuff like that. Or I can go in this light at the end, or go within this door at the end where it's a whole bunch of light, which is like connecting myself to God and connecting myself to my inner self and stuff like that. So, you know, I knew at the end of the day there would be a door opening, as you saw at the end of the video. Where there's going to be a lot of light coming in. So that's the door I had to go in into. So that's why I decided at the end of the day. It's about connecting myself to God. And the only way out of this is through the door with the light. If you have things in your life that you want to be aware of. And especially if you overthink. Especially if you constantly thinking about the past constantly thinking about negativity over events that happen in your life and stuff like that and you know the the wake-up call for me was like i had to do something about it you know i believe you have to take the step two to do it to move on in this earthly world we live in so i believe we have to take the action to do it which was the hardest part i had to do but i knew god was by my side i knew god would give me faith and Give me strength to keep going, keep moving forward. You know, I don't know why I went through all that stuff or even just seeing spirits or type of entities or stuff like that. But don't get me wrong, I did see a lot of good too. I mean, I saw good entities too, not just bad. But I think for me, I think the reason why I went through that is to connect myself to God again. Because I grew up in the church. I grew up going to church all my life. And when I turned 18, 19, that's when I start distancing myself from God and and rely on the earthly things we see and it wasn't for music i don't think i would connect myself to god again because what i had to go through just to make music i had to have some kind of inner peace within me and have that connection with god and that's when i was like no i gotta i gotta go i gotta take a step to connect with god again because it's, it's the only way I can get through this. Pretty much the music video represents, the song represents my inner thoughts, my flaws that I had, um, being aware of them, and knowing that if you have signs per se, or you have things in your life that it's helping you to wake up to what's going on in your life, to be a better person, to mature, to connect yourself with God, or even just being a good, kind-hearted person and be who you are. But at the end of the day, it's part of my journey, part of my life. And 
it's not happening now anymore, which is good. Um, finally ended, you know, what I mean, finally took a toll and finally ended because I changed my ways of thinking, changed my ways of how I behave, how I respond to certain things. Because no matter what, you're going to get negativity, no matter what, right? It's going to come. So you got to have to learn how to respond, learn how to balance it. Like I said earlier, really, you have to do it. You have to take that step yourself to do it, and God will back you up. God will help you with it. So a good thing I had that wake up call to understand like there are just some things that I overthink in my mind and I shouldn't be overthinking, but that's how I thought before, you know. It's T Run music. Peace. <laughs>